Welcome to the um, next tutorial um, in a series on how to use Adobe Illustrator to draft a shirt. If you've been following this series of tutorials, you should have something that looks remotely like what you can see on the screen at the moment. And this shirt now can actually be printed um, and then cut out in calico and, and tried. However, any alterations that I make um, can be significantly reduced by looking at what I've got in front of me and making amendments now. And the easiest way of doing this really is to compare what I've drafted with an actual shirt. And I've got a shirt that I know fits me really well. Um, and by simply getting a tape measure and measuring key areas, I can actually compare it to the shirt I've got in front of me. So it basically just eliminates the amount of adjustments you're going to have to make um, and ultimately the um, reduce the amount of trials you're going to have to make. So for example, I'm just going to measure the collar length just with a tape measure across this point here. And you can see, well, you probably can't see, it's 46 centimetres. So going back to Illustrator, if I zoom in on the collar, saying this is 46 centimetres, so I'll get the ruler and I'll measure without the seam allowance straight across see what that is and that's coming in at 44 45 so that's going to be a bit tighter than this collar that might not be a big problem um, but it gives me an understanding of how it compares to what I've got in front of me and I've already done this, I've already gone through this shirt and I've compared it um, to what I've got drafted and it's not that different. I can tell you the shirt sleeve is going to be baggier, that it's going to be about 10 centimetres longer, it's going to be baggier at the waist, the neck is going to be a fraction tighter, um, but overall it shouldn't be too bad, so any alterations I can make. Bear in mind I am making a basic block here, so all my shirt designs are going to be based on what I produce here. Um, the cuff's the right, um, right width for my um, wrist, um, but the length is probably a bit too long. Um, in terms of collar stands, depth and um, the collar um, itself, that doesn't really matter. That's a style issue, so I can alter that later. Um, so you're looking really for fitment at this stage. Um, and one thing I need to know at the moment is whether that collar will actually fit around the neckline of this, of this um, bodice block. And I can actually use um, the rotate tool here to actually check this out and move any notches that might be um, slightly out. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select the middle panel and alter the artboard so I've got a bit more space. Like so. And I need this collar panel here. I only need half of it because I'm going to work from the centre back around here and then down here and hopefully what should happen is the centre back and the front it should all match up and the notches should match up. I'm not expecting it will, I'm expecting I'm going to have to make some adjustments here. So let's have a look which one I need. I need the collar outline. I'm just going to select this collar and group it. I'm going to move it over here. Okay, let's zoom in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this, so bear in mind you've got seam allowance on this, so you've got to work on the stitch line, not the seam allowance. If I grab, put it screwed together, if I grab the stitch line, I can move it down, I can move it exactly on the stitch line here. And bear in mind, you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to nudge it upwards. Okay, so I know that point there is actually going to attach to that point on the, on the actual body spot when I sew it, so I'm pretending I'm sewing here. I'm now going to get the rotate tool. I'll select the panel I want, select the rotate tool, and I'm going to work along the line until the lines no longer touch. So here, for example, it's joined here, it's joined here, it starts moving here, so I'm going to put the rotate symbol there, I'm then going to move it, and it's joined up to there, to there, Uh, 
can take your time on this. That notch there, that's the shoulder seam, and that should be where that one is there. You can see it's slightly out. Move that there. I'm just going to quickly. Okay, so it's slightly out. So what I'm going to do here, double click to go in isolated mode and click on that particular bit, that notch, and just move it with the direct selection tool. Then the selection tool, click on the isolated, and it's back out again. So I know that curve there fits on that there. Okay, I'm going to zoom out. All in window. I'm going to select this. Back and move it, and then I'm going to do the same. So I'm just going to rotate this from this point. Think about it, it's going to come from down here. Zoom in so we can see. Or zoom in if you want. Look. So that notch should be on the shoulder seam. And again, make sure you're working on the stitch line. And there we are. So on the stitch line, which is this line, and the shoulder seam is matched. Select it. That's it. Rotate. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to work my way around. Have a look how we're doing. That notch there is exactly on this line, and that is the centre front line. The centre front line on the shirt tends to go where the buttons are, you tend to have a centimetre and a half from the buttons here, and that is exactly on that line as well. So you can see it matches there, and that's pretty pretty accurate. So I know now that shirt collar. Is actually correct. Let's now put this back. Let's put that where it was. I don't have to, I could delete the numbers at this point, but I need them really as a reference in case I make any alterations in the future. So I'm just going to put it back. This might take some while. Slightly. That's it there. Okay. So I'm happy with that. I could grab half of the. Um, I could grab the front bodice panel and flick it over and check the shoulder seams. Um, I could flick that over and check the side seams. Though it looks like they're going to be pretty accurate. The problem will be the armhole. Um, I could try and do that along here exactly the same way. Um, and that will take some time as well. It's entirely up to you, or you could make it and see from the actual trial. Um, so, yeah, just um, find a shirt that fits, that you're comfortable in, compare it to what you've drafted. Is it totally different or is it very similar? I wouldn't worry if it's similar but not exact because you can alter that afterwards. Um, but it gives you a good um, estimate. Thank you.